Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box, the Textbook Trader, and it's Tuesday, August the 23rd. Well, we had a big rally on Wall Street today. A lot of stocks snapped back, particularly some of the ones we watch closely. But let's take a look at some of the more interesting stocks that I feel um, have promising patterns, either reversal patterns or have held up very well during the decline. Uh, an example of that is Acorn, which during the entire big pullback in the market just pretty pretty much held its own. Now, today it snapped back. 23 cents and it's now challenging the double top from earlier in the month. If it takes out the 820 area, we're looking for a run up towards nine and three quarters. That's our next target for Acorn. If you take a look back at the overall chart pattern, you'll see a beautiful rising channel for the last two years, which indicates at some point that we may see the stock in the $12 range on an intermediate basis. Now Crocs uh, held up pretty well until the pullback in August, bounced sharply on the first rally, came down and retested tested uh, lateral price support and key support. Today exploded for 311 or 13% on three and a half million shares and snapped back right to the moving averages. Now, uh, if this declining tops is tested and taken out around the 28 and a half area, uh, which I believe will be tested, we could see this stock retest the 32 range and eventually on an intermediate basis, perhaps move up to the 35, 36 range, but that's a ways away yet. CVV, big snapback day up 261 or 20 and a half percent. We called that this morning and the breakout above the declining top sign and moving averages. But a beautiful follow through, a nice close, strong volume for the stock. And I'm expecting a test of the 16 and a half, maybe 17 and a half range short term, with ultimately something up near 20 on an intermediate term basis. With gold and silver turning down, we had a sharp turnaround in the DB uh, gold double short ET ETN, and um, the symbol is DZZ. That jumped from 390 to 435, closed at 434, penny off the high, up 49 cents on nearly 20 million shares, by far the biggest volume ever traded in the stock. Now, there is some overhead resistance, about four and a half. We get through that target, five dollars, and that's our swing trade target. Secondary target around five and a half. Up next, ELGX, uh, which had held up pretty well in its entire decline, has now got a little hit in the shoulders, potential bottoming pattern, with the, that being the neckline. Uh, today popped 49 cents or 5.6% on the best volume in about five sessions. A breakout of this line could lead to a rise up towards the um, channel top here at around 11. That's our shorter term target. Stepping back, looking at the more intermediate term target, we could see 12 and a half perhaps. Hansen had a big day today for a high price stock. It did extremely well. It was up nearly five points, breaking out of this beautiful six, seven day flag which followed this sharp thrust two weeks ago. Um, the flag held the moving averages. Today's big volume of 2.6 million shares, up 6%, broke it out across the early July highs, and now could lead to a 90 plus target, perhaps 91 and 92 range. IDSY on a big contract today with Avis and an investment by Avis um, exploded for uh, the getting up to 594 before backing off uh, 58 cents, still um, reserved about half the profits up 10.5% on the biggest volume traders in, in you know this year, perhaps. And, and that's a clean breakout. The pullback wasn't great. The close wasn't great. But let's see if we get any follow through. Keep an eye on the 590.95 range. Now, if that perhaps is taken out, I would expect the stock to be up towards 7, 7 a quarter. Jazz Pharmaceuticals has held up very well on its decline with pullback bounce and then pullback again, making a higher low. And then snapping back 327 or 9.6% today on 900,000. We can get a price, and it closed buck back above the 21 and 50 day moving averages. And a price volume surge over 40 could get this one really running. To retest the high at 43 and a half, that's our short term target, secondary target in the high 40s. Up next is Mako. Now, Mako has had a very strong rally off the 21 and a half low with this island reversal. Ran up to resistance, backed off, exploded through it, got up to declining top to resistance, and backed off in a nice orderly flag. Today popped a dollar seventy-five or six percent. And if we can get up towards thirty-three and take that out, I'd be looking for something in the high thirties on an intermediate basis, short-term target thirty-three. Mistral Group, MS, MG, excuse me, after popping um, a couple weeks ago, pulled back to test the breakout point in the moving averages, and today exploded for dollar fifty-three or eight point six percent. If we get up through the 1985 range, my short-term target is 22. MRGE also a nice orderly pullback after a key breakout on heavy volume. Market pressures brought it back down to test the uh, trend line, but we snapped back for 34 cents or 6.4% today. 
Let's see if we can get a follow through to the upside and get back up and test the six and a half range. That's my short term target, seven and three quarters secondary target. And very explosive, a nice high volume follow through today on panel, which had a big day yesterday. Yesterday jumping 684 at 25%, today jumping another 17% at 590, and up about 12 points just in two sessions. And more, almost doubling in the last two weeks, uh, two and a half weeks. So a big, big move, a breakout across this key resistance here. It's maybe triggered a new intermediate move. Uh, we look for this stock to get perhaps up to the 50 range, 49.50 or so my trading target on a short to intermediate term basis. Up next is PPDI. I like the way this thing exploded here. Got up to the July high, backed off in an orderly fashion, held the moving averages to price support. And today snap back a dollar twenty-seven or four percent. But I'd like to see more volume. If we do get a follow through here, look for a test of 33, my short-term target, secondary target of 35.36. Up next is Ruger, Sturm Ruger, which is setting all-time highs. Now there's key overhead resistance up here in the uh, 31 range. If we get through there, I can see the stock moving into the mid 30 short term. RIMM, if they're coming down and then bouncing sh sharply to the moving averages, is back and filled in here. For several days. It was up 99 cents today. But if we can get up past 28, I think this stock moves to 30 and then 35 short and in intermediate term. STAA has been moving fantastically and it's moved up uh, to form multiple year highs here and it's taken out key overhead resistance in this zone, pulled back, and then today popped back up again, closing near the highs for the entire move. And if we get a follow through here, I'm looking for eight and then nine for Star Surgical. SUSS has been a standout, making new multi-year highs, all-time highs, and 52-week highs, of course. You can see the trend and the acceleration here. We're getting up near the top of the channel, but this could explode and move into the mid-20s short term. That's my trading target for Susser. And finally today, one of the other also short and precious metals, the ZSL Pro Short um, Pro Shares, also short silver, jumped um, $1.3 or 9.5% today on uh, 15 million shares and is now testing resistance at the August, early August low. If you get through here, I'm looking for a move to 13 and a half, my swing trade target, secondary target at 15, and longer term target, 16 and a half, 17. And there you go. Those are some ideas on the long side for tonight. Have a good evening.